don't follow this bad advice about leash training. Hey guys, Jessica here, the Fray Family Coach, and in this video, we're talking about bad advice that so many people give and use when it comes to leash training. So if you are the person that has a dog that pulls and pulls and pulls and pulls and pulls, or if you know somebody who has a dog that pulls and pulls and pulls and pulls and pulls, and pulls this is the video for you. Okay, so I know I have done videos about this on my channel before, but I really want to reiterate that there's a lot of bad information out there. There is a lot of misinformation. There's a lot of bad practices when it comes to teaching our dogs anything, but leash training or not pulling while on the leash, oh my goodness, this one sometimes can take the cake. Real quick before we get into this video, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and if you look right down there, that subscribe button and it is red, go ahead and click it and turn it gray. When that happens, a bell will appear. Click the bell, select all notifications, that way YouTube can notify you every single time I post a new video. So let's get right into this video about the bad advice so many people give and so many people take and use about leash training. It is terrible, so stop doing it. So. There are a lot, it is not natural for a dog to walk on a leash. It's not natural for a dog to wear a collar, even a harness. These are not natural things. And walking calmly on a loose leash by your side is incredibly unnatural for a dog. So there are a lot of dogs that pull. It is, we walk at a very, very, very slow pace compared to a dog. If you just watch a dog walk around, they don't, they don't mosey around like you and I do. They walk and they walk fast and that is natural for a dog. So walking slowly at our side is very unnatural for a dog and has to be trained. There are also tons of distractions and there's wonderful things that your dog wants to get to and chase and smell and see and oh my gosh, there's a friend over there or what is that movement over there? I've got to get to it. So dogs pull and they pull and they pull and they pull. And one of, one of the reasons I really, really, really dislike a lot of social media is because there is so much bad advice about dog training out there. And one of the biggest things, well, crate training, crate training is another one, but one of the biggest things I see people talk about that is just absolutely terrible and absolutely wrong is, you know, you need this piece of equipment, you need that piece of equipment, you need a halty collar, you need a choke collar, you need a pinch collar, you need a bark collar, you need an electronic collar, you need a whatever it is, you need this, you need that. Oh, my goodness. It's not the collar that keeps your dog from pulling. It's not the collar that keeps your dog walking calmly by your side. It is training your dog to walk calmly by your side that teaches your dog to walk calmly by your side. These, all these different training collars out there are, they're not a poof, my dog's perfect solution. They, in fact, they don't do it anything. They're just pieces of equipment. And if you don't train your dog then to walk calmly by your side, then no piece of equipment is going to help you. So if you're that person who is, you know, frustrated and tired and like dreads walking your dog because they just pull and pull and pull and you can't get a hold of them and they're stronger than you. And by the time you're done with your walk, you are just dead, exhausted. I feel you. <laughs> Believe me, I do. Because a lot of people have this issue and you can buy any collar, which I don't recommend, but you can buy any collar in the world. None of it is going to solve your problem. Training, positive reinforcement training and teaching your dog to walk calmly by your side is what is going to help solve your problem. So my strong recommendation to you is to get rid of all of those training colors. Get rid of all of that advice. Stop asking people on social media for advice on how to train your dog because the only advice they're going to give you is to buy another piece of equipment which isn't going to work because you're not doing anything to train your dog. So my advice to you is to get rid of all of that training equipment. You don't need it. The only thing you need is a, a harness that fits your dog well, fits your dog comfortably. And I say harness because it doesn't matter what kind of collar you use, they all can cause damage to your dog's neck and trachea, which can cause breathing difficulties and sometimes even worse. So 
I don't ever recommend attaching a leash to a collar. Never ever. That is my opinion. There are tons of veterinarians that happen to agree because they see dog after dog after dog coming into their practice with neck injuries and collapsed tracheas and damage to the neck that is caused by collars. Um, so especially dogs that pull, especially little dogs, really, I mean, any and every dog can be affected by pressure put on the neck from any kind of collar. And I will link some videos below if you want to learn more about why you should not use certain collars. Um, also why you should not use a retractable leash. Those are also really terrible, especially if you have a strong puller. So a well fitted, comfortable for your dog harness, you will need your leash, which should just be a regular four to six foot flat leash and a long line. Sometimes people call them a lead. Um, I guess it depends on what part of the world you're from. I will link my favorites in the description box below um, for the, the harnesses, for, uh, you know, some of the best harnesses that I know of, uh, the, the leash that I use in case you're interested, as well as a long line. A long line is not expensive and really, really incredibly beneficial. So if you are training with your dog not to pull on leash and to walk calmly on a loose leash by your side, the first thing I want you to know is those are, those are the only, you need four things. Those three things that I just said, plus some high value rewards for your dog. So whether that is training treats, Boiled chicken, if your dog is more play motivated than food motivated, maybe their favorite toy. Um, so high value rewards, a harness, a leash, and a long line. That's all you need. Get rid of everything else. You don't need anything else. And to get started, you don't even need any of that. Just some high value rewards because to get started, we're going to work in your home with your dog off leash. We're going to teach them to walk calmly by our side. We're going to set up little obstacle courses and have them walk calmly by your side inside of the house, re rewarding all of the way so that your dog gets used to walking by your side. Then and only then, once you and your dog are comfortable walking inside calmly by your side and your dog has a good heel inside without a leash, then we can start adding in a leash. Then we can start adding in moving outside into a safe enclosed space. Hopefully if you don't have an enclosed space, that's where the long line is going to come in so that you and your dog can slowly start adding distance and distraction and duration and getting better and better and better at walking on a loose leash by your side. So moral of the story, correction collars, do no such thing. Corrections are not how we properly train our dog. Positive reinforcement is how we properly train our dog. If you have any sort of correction collar, please, I implore you, throw it in the trash now because it serves no good purpose. And in, and in fact, it can harm your dog a lot more than helping them with pulling. So I hope that helps you. And if you have a strong puller, please stop taking this bad advice from especially people on social media, but even some dog trainers who just have not learned yet that positive reinforcement is so much better and so much more effective than some of the aversive methods that used to be taught many, many years ago. We now know they are not the right way to train a dog and in fact can harm our dogs so much more than helping them. The goal here is to have a happy, healthy dog and a positive, trusting bond and open communication between you and your dog. That is the goal. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below if you have a strong puller or what made you click on this video. Let me know about you and your dogs. Also check all of the links in the description, including my link tree. There are so many wonderful links there for you to check out. If you have any questions, you can also post those in the comments below. Thank you so much for being here with me today. If you haven't already looked down there, that subscribe button, if it's red, go ahead and click it and turn it gray. When that happens, a bell will appear. Click the bell, select all notifications. That way YouTube can notify you every time I post a new video. Thank you so much for being here with me today. Can't wait to see you in the next video. 
Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you never miss another video.